What's up fam? Today we are going to be making the world famous hot brown. For those of you who don't know what it is, it is a hot turkey sandwich that comes from the amazing state of Kentucky, which I also believe is known as the bluegrass state. Points for me. Anyways, um, I want to shout out to Kara Beth Sumner, who is one of our amazing supporters. She sponsored this video. She sent us a very generous donation so we can get all these ingredients and make the world famous hot brown for you today. I have heard that this sandwich is absolutely delicious. It's super, super famous. Everybody who eats it loves it. So I'm hoping that I'm going to do it justice. You know, I don't have the best cooking skills, but sometimes when I follow a recipe, I do okay. So let's go ahead and let's show you the ingredients that you're gonna need. Um, and then we're gonna kind of start putting it together. It's actually a pretty simple sandwich and sometimes simplicity is best. Okay, here we go. These are all of the ingredients that you're gonna need right here. So you're gonna need two ounces of butter. You're gonna need uh, probably most likely one Roma tomato uh, or two. I got two just in case. Um, you're going to need some thick carved turkey breast. You can make it yourself or you can get it from the store. I got this at Walmart. Very, very handy. You're going to need some thick cut bacon. I think any sandwich that is bacon is a good sandwich. Um, you're going to need some Texas toast, right? This is a thick kind of bread. So you're going to need some Texas toast. You'll need some whole milk right here. Um, and then we got some Parmesan Romano cheese. You can also use Pecorino Romano cheese. I couldn't find that. Uh, Parmesan by itself works just fine, but you want to get like the fresh kind, okay? Hopefully this is the fresh kind. Okay, and then we're going to need some whipping cream right here, heavy whipping cream. And then for our spices and seasonings, some pepper, some salt. Uh, we're going to finish it off with parsley and paprika, so this is just very little at the end. And then... We're gonna need some nutmeg, okay? So I said that there's a little bit of a complicated part to this. I'm gonna be making a roux. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what a roux is, I really don't know either, but it's basically um, a cheese sauce. Yes, it's like a cheese sauce. You make roux if you make um, macaroni and cheese from scratch, which I never have, so I've never made a roux before. But um, today's a good day to start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start prepping, okay? So. I'm gonna take two strips of bacon and lightly cook this first. I wanna halfway cook the bacon and then you're gonna finish it off in the oven, okay, when you put it on top of the sandwich. So I'm gonna do that and then while the bacon's cooking, we're gonna prep the baking dish. So let's go ahead and get this going. Okay, so as you can see, I prepped the bacon and you're supposed to cook it about halfway, uh, but I probably did about three fourths. Some people would probably say this is all the way cooked, but not according to me and Jamil. We like it extra crispy, so it's about halfway for us. And then we, now we are going to prep our baking dish, okay? We're gonna get the hot brown started. Okay, so we have our tomatoes here and our Texas toast here. So we're gonna start off with cutting the crust off of the Texas toast. Don't ask me why they do it. They just do. Somebody says it's less carbs. I sincerely doubt that is the reason. <laughs> Considering once you see all the butter and cheese and cream we're gonna use. Uh, but, I mean, sometimes it's just like a cleaner, a cleaner line of bread. If you guys know why they cut off the crust of the Texas toast, comment down below. Okay, and then so, one of the Texas toasts we are going to cut in half and try to figure out which one. Uh, we're gonna cut this one diagonal. Okay, but only one, not both. Okay, cool. So that's the prep of the bread. And then I'm just gonna cut the ends off of the tomatoes. The ends on this tomato looked a little funky anyways. Okay, so one of the tomatoes, um, I'm going to create some slices and I'm also going to cut one in half, okay? So I'm going to try to think which one I wanna slice. I'm gonna cut this one in half. Okay, I'm going to put this in the baking dish separately. And then I'm going to cut just a few slices of tomato from this thing. Perfect. Okay. So we have our tomato and we have our Texas toast with the crust cut off. And now we're going to put it in the baking dish and assemble everything with the turkey. So I got my baking dish out that we're gonna use. And then here is the premium carved turkey. And again, you can make this on your own. You can get a turkey breast, but if you do get it from the store like I did, make sure it is the thick cut. So I have my turkey, my tomatoes, and the bread. So let's start assembling, shall we? Okay, 
just have to make sure I have everything, which I do. So we're good to go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the bread in the pan first, okay? So you're gonna take this whole piece of bread and you're gonna put it in the center of the pan like so. It's very simple. Okay, and then you're gonna take the sides of the bread and you're gonna place them right next to the uh, whole square, okay? So as you can see, there's the square in the middle and then triangles on the edge. And now we're gonna put our generous portions of the thick cut turkey on to the sandwich. We're gonna layer it, okay? Mmm, I'm excited. I think this is gonna be really good. I like a lot of meat in my sandwiches, so I wanna make sure this is hearty and filling. So we're gonna layer it all over the bread. And then if you want, you can put, um, definitely what I've seen people do is they put the whole tomato, even though it's not whole, it's really a half. They put half of the tomato here and they put the other half on the edge like that, okay? But if you want, you can also add some extra slices kind of inside the sandwich like that. We know how my hubby loves tomatoes. No, he doesn't love them, but he's gonna love them today. <laughs> Okay, look how easy that assembly is, okay? So we have our bread, we got our turkey on top, and the tomatoes all ready. So now we're gonna get to the roux. So we're gonna make the roux, and then at the end, we pour the roux all over, sprinkle some more Parmesan cheese on it, the bacon, and then you put it in the oven. So, wish me luck on this next part. Okay, fam, before we start the roux, I am fired. I forgot we need flour in this recipe. That is what's gonna make this roux nice and thick. Okay, so you need flour as well. So I set the temperature of the stove to about to medium, cut up uh, my portion of the butter, and then I threw it in my saucepan. So now the butter has to basically melt all the way down before I can add any other ingredients. So I'm just kind of whisking it, melting it away, helping the process along. And then here I am slowly adding in my flour, okay? The instructions suggested to add it in slowly and you basically want to whisk, whisk, whisk and make sure that there are no lumps and bumps. So basically this base is gonna get pretty thick and the flour is going to dissipate. And then you want the sauce to start bubbling before you add anything else. So here I am about to add my heavy whipping cream to this roux process. And then you add in the heavy whipping cream. And then after that, you go to the whole milk. And then you add in the whole milk. And then you're basically going to whisk, whisk, whisk again and incorporate all of those ingredients all together. And then I took it off of the stove before I added this Parmesan cheese. And then I slowly added the Parmesan cheese as I was incorporating it all together, stirring it with the whisk. And then you wanna add a little bit of nutmeg. This is what makes this hot brown so good. You gotta add some nutmeg for seasoning, just a pinch. And then of course you want to pepper and salt your roux to taste, okay? So you're gonna kinda go by what you think tastes good. Okay, you guys, so we got our roux ready to go and we're gonna pour half of this roux on top of this. FYI, I made enough roux for two of the hot browns, but I'm only making one for you guys today. So I'm gonna use half of the roux and we're gonna basically do a, I don't wanna spill it, we're gonna do generous portions and you basically, you're gonna cover up this whole sandwich. And then you wanna season it to taste. I seasoned, um, it with nutmeg, salt and pepper, and it tastes actually really, really good. So some of you like it a little more salty, some of you maybe you don't even want salt. You guys can do it to your preference. Okay, I'm probably gonna do one more generous scoop. I wanna make sure I cover up all the turkey. Make sure it's all saturated in the delicious fresh roux. Okay, you guys, so look at this roux. It is completely covered. Now we're gonna add some more of our Parmesan Romano cheese, okay? And you're gonna do a generous portion, or you can just sprinkle it on top. I've seen people do both. Um, we're gonna put a lot on, because that's how we roll. Perfect. I think that is enough. Okay. I think that looks great. And then now we're going to add our bacon that we halfway cooked. 
slash fully cooked earlier, and we're gonna put it on top. So, like that, and like that. Okay, you guys, your next options are you can either broil this until it's golden brown, or you can put it in the oven at 475. Since I never use a broiler, I don't trust it. We're just putting it in the oven at 475 until this is golden brown. Okay, you guys, look at this. It is bubbling and sizzling. It smells so good. So as you can see, it is a delicious golden brown and that bacon is crispy how we like it. So let me just go ahead and garnish it with the uh, parsley and paprika. You totally don't even have to do this part, but I'm going to. Uh, make it look a little pretty. Oh yeah. Look at that, gorge. Do that. Then a little pap. I like to call it pap. There we go. Bam. Okay, you guys, so this is the famous hot brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and let my hubby have the first bite. Hopefully he likes it. Ready, babe? I'm ready, let's do this. Okay. I'm a little scared, but you know what? We're gonna do it. Why are you scared? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I think it's gonna be really good. Huh? Can I cut a piece for you? Of course, yeah, I appreciate that. Okay, I'm gonna cut you the best piece. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> you know where all the good spots are. I do. <laughs> I know where the good spots are. Oh, that looks good. Ooh, it does look good. Let me get you a great All good. bite. You guys, the cheese, the cheese on here looks delicious. It looks incredible. You guys, this is piping hot. As you know, it just came out of the oven. I know. So I want to make sure you blow on it. Okay. Okay, I messed up your bite. That's okay. It's all good. It's really not okay. <laughs> it's really not okay. You're Hold about, on. You're about to give me all tomato. <laughs> no, no, no. A little bit of... I got you. Okay. Okay. There we go. okay. Look at that. Let it let like we're letting this cool for like two minutes before Jamil bites this. Yes. Okay. But it is definitely a bite for you. Yes. Um. It's a bite. Again, it's got the bread, the roux, the turkey, the bacon, the tomatoes. Okay. Keep blow up, blow on it. Smells so good. Definitely blow on it. Okay, cool. Take a while and take your time. I probably should have let it cool down a little bit. Sure. But you know what? I didn't. Trying to take out my taste buds. I think we're too excited to try this. Oh, by, by the way, I baked it at 475 for about 15 minutes. Okay, uh, so sure. I want you to give me a solid review on it, what you think it tastes like. Okay. And you can one to 10 the flavor. Okay. Okay. I'll be 100% honest. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Good. I think you blew on it pretty well. Good. That's really good. Honestly. I was nervous. I was nervous. Honestly, that's like, that's like a nine and a half. Really? Not even joking. It's really good. Oh my gosh, is the hot brown like? Yeah, is delicious. You, do you see why it's famous? Yes, I do see why it's famous. So first off, to me the bacon is just the key. It just adds that extra little bit that you need. But the cheese was very flavorful, extremely flavorful. Good, good. Um, obviously we had the packaged um, uh, meat that you used, which was good though. It was very, very good. But really that roux just really stood out to me. It was good. You give it a nine and a half? You know what, the tomatoes. I mean, you guys know how I feel about tomatoes. I'm not the biggest fan, but they're delicious. You gotta try it. You oh gotta my try gosh. It I'm you gotta so try excited. It. Okay. All right. I, I think you're gonna love it. I really do. Really? It's that good. I mean, it smelled good. Yeah. No, this is delicious. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good bite. That is a good bite. <laughs> oh, it's falling. I should have done it for you. <laughs> I know. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. Okay, I have to blow on for a while because... Yeah, take your time. Well, I'm not trying to burn my taste buds. How was it when you ate it? It was fine. I mean, uh, it was hot. Yeah? It was hot. I worked it. There you go. All right. I told you. <laughs> it's that good. You guys, this thing is that good. Mmm. I know, right? Um, you know, it's interesting. The bread, I don't really taste the bread... Obviously, you know, because everything else is so flavorful, but it blends in so well, it almost acts like mm. it like blends in with the cheese. This is like the ultimate comfort food. Like yeah, I is. love sandwiches and I didn't think I was going to get a sandwich vibe eating this because mm -hmm. of all the roux and stuff and yep. whatever, but 
It's totally a sandwich vibe. It is. It's a hot turkey sandwich. It really is. But like baked. Yep. With deliciousness. There you go, babe. I you agree. Really vibe. Wow. Honestly, I, I give it. A, I give it a nine and a half. No, I give it a ten. You give it a ten? It's a freaking good sandwich. You, you're gonna brag like that? <laughs> <laughs> give your food a ten? That's cool. I don't blame you. I'm giving it a ten. Honestly, I'm giving it a ten. It is a ten. Um, Kara Beth Sumner, thank you so much for suggesting that. Thank you so we much. We make this today. I'm so happy I did. Be careful. Mm. <laughs> okay. Again, still hot. Um, again, I see why Kentucky and everybody who knows about the sandwich, everybody else who knows about the sandwich, is in love because it's full of flavor. It's so cheesy. It's so gooey, mm -hmm. and that turkey just adds that like fresh, meaty flavor in there. Yep. And then you have the crisp bacon on top. That of yeah. course adds amazingness exactly and like i think like you said you can't really tell there's bread but you can tell there's some like mm -hmm. fluffiness down there some yeah. chewiness i guess yeah oh i just realized some people toast the texas toast before you put it in there oh that's fine oh, you well. don't need to you I really don't need to i mean <laughs> okay. you can but honestly it tastes fine just how it is like that yeah good job yay that's awesome that's awesome <laughs> okay you guys please comment down below please let me know how i did i need some praise and obviously <laughs> if you have suggestions of what i could have done better comment down below let me know because i want to make this again yes. and i definitely suggest that you make this too okay very very good again thank you so much kara for uh sponsoring this video today we really appreciate you absolutely okay you guys don't forget to like comment subscribe share share and it's karen let your friends feel me know what the kate and jfm are doing and until next time we hope you have a wonderful day evening or night whatever time it is out there we will see you in our next video mm -hmm. peace peace out trout.